and welcome so today we'll be making this wide front jacket collar okay so i really don't know how to call it so but it it has a center front wide collar okay so my name is runo creative director of la ruby claudia welcome to my channel so i have gone ahead to draft now sincerely i have started i was almost cutting when i remember that I, i'm supposed to film this this um jacket right it's a, a jacket for a client okay so i'll just go ahead and explain it so i have a basic bodies block um tutorial like you know it's there on my on my yeah on, on my channel so you can just click the link in the description box there you have it it's a full it's a it's a full a full um bodies block right that is what you you you'll be using now this is not a half cut you are you are drafting from shoulder to waist okay so now you know you know our boss our boss that is and our waist that okay so now we are doing a shoulder that for this dress so what you need to do is to divide your shoulder into two okay equally now you you divide it into two so what i did i already added the neckline seam allowance so i'm just erasing it out just to avoid confusion so you don't get confused what that line all about okay so you divide your shoulder into two and then you 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 mark then you connect from your shoulder to your boss point okay so you want to connect your boss point with a straight line now it's not going to look very straight it's going to be slanty kind of but it's fine now for our center front remember the center front it's a bit open okay Okay, so it's not closely it's not a closed um jacket so on your neckline you come in three eight or three quarter or one inch okay so it's fine depending on how wide you want it remember what if you do one inch it means it's two inch because this is one side okay then on the waistline you come in half inch right so it's a bit open on the waistline remember there will be a, a belt will be tying will be tying that part on our waistline so you need a space to be able to tie so you can come in half inch so what i did i, I came in half inch i connected my half inch to my three eight that's three quarter okay six eight sorry that's my three quarter and then from my waistline and i started i i came down to my hip line to my hemline right uh, sorry and then i used my my arm hook off to just i needed a cuff so i just used my arm hook up now i must add that your hip measurement must be bigger than your usual hip so the hip i have here is about 40 but i made it 41 i made it 42 in total because it's not closely fitted around the hip area okay so on your side seam right your side you come up one inch because you you, you need a curve right you come up one inch on your side front you repeat same to the back okay and then you you slant it you use your curve to just connect it back okay so whatever you do to your side for the front you repeat the same to the back remember the back and the front if you notice our back pattern is shorter than our front pattern okay so this is okay this is how it should be so you just make sure you slant and then the difference once you hold you move your your dart to the shoulder you have it equal the back and the front if you are used to my tutorial by now if you if you are used to my tutorial by now this shouldn't be an issue you should be used to this by now okay all right so now we are trying to create that wide um that wide lapel right in front so now what you need to do you know the lapel ends around the waist now you if you want your belt to be under your bust or closer to your um, under your bust you can move it but i'm I, I, mine is ending around my waist so that is why so you can move your 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 lapel to wherever you want it to end so mine is ending on the way so i just need a dotted line first before marking it out once i get what i want i can now trace it out correctly so you can always erase why you need to use a dotted line because you need to erase if you're not okay with what you have okay so there's no curve that you can use you need to use a dotted line then curve. so what I've, I, I i already traced it out already like i said before and then i just erased it and i and i'm just showing you how, how i did it so that pattern you're seeing i already traced it out and then i marked it and i after using my tracing wheel to trace and i now um, trace it out with my pencil to make it clearer and i cut it so that is what you have so when you are doing this you don't need to cut to add your shoulder that okay you don't need to add you just need your your you just need that curve that pattern that um um color that is all you need you don't need the the because you are tracing that so you can see my pattern there is no there is no um 
there's no shoulder that there you don't need a shoulder so you just you you need to do this on your pattern to be able to be so you it can be accurate okay you can't do this free hand i don't know maybe there's a way but you need it to do it on your pattern okay so now you can now go ahead and erase your your jacket your collar now just to avoid confusion because i'm only, i'm only erasing because i already traced it out okay if you haven't traced you don't have to erase okay I traced out and I added my seam allowance so I just don't want to confuse you so that is why I need to erase so after erasing you can now cut out now you move your darts your arm your boss that's fine you can also sew your darts and but that all that means is that you have two darts okay but because we want one that so we'll be moving the waist that the boss that sorry or under arm that to our shoulder right so that is why so you can ignore the the jacket um lines there you can ignore it okay you already know that it's not part of our of our of what we are doing right now we are done with it okay so now uh, you can see i'm following the 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 dart so i'm trying to close the dart okay so i haven't after closing the dart you can now cut down to your shoulder please don't get confused don't confuse the the lapel the 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 lapel the collar the collar um, line with your shoulder that our shoulder that is connected from the bust point to the shoulder the midpoint of your shoulder okay so what you need to do is to tape it down just to secure it so it doesn't move and then you have your bust that so what you now need to do is just to cut okay just cut and then you add you cut out your your the other part of the dart you cut out your dart entirely out okay and then you have your pattern out so you can see what i'm doing now so i'm cutting out my dart so after cutting you discover that you may have a point around the boss point so what you need to do is just to 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 yeah you can just need to cut it out so you don't need you don't need any point you don't need a bust here here okay so you can just cut it out and so it can be flat when you cut, when you sew it's a jacket there's no bust here on the jacket right so having done that remember We've not added seam so what you need to do is to add your seam allowance so going to the back you just you cut the same thing now because we are doing shoulder that the same measurement we did for the on the shoulder of our front same that is what we are doing so after joining you we, the, the two shoulders will align so we have four pieces and um, four pieces on our bodies and then our one um, um collar okay on our way so what you need to do now is to notch so that is where your belt is going to start from it's important on your fabric you notch it also on your fabric okay so this is my interface i'll iron my interface on my main fabric right i don't have to iron it on my lining so now for the front now the front i i cut a face and use the ankara the main ankara fabric to cut so instead of two i cut four so i use the fabric as lining why because that will be the center front you don't need you don't have to be seeing your lining when you turn it in right so that is how you know that is how it that's how you sew your jacket right but for but for the other part the side front and the side back and center back i use my lining as, as i use my lining and i iron interface on the fabric alone why the color you need to cut Four, right two for the, for both sides the both side of the front and then two as lining so i have two i i use my fabric to cut my lining for the collar and the center front okay so those are the parts that you need to use a uh, fabric to cut the other part you need lining okay so this is my best you can go ahead and cut as uh, what your desired length okay your desired length you can go ahead and cut and then you know you are cutting too for on both sides so remember to notch that waist point that is where your lining your belt is going to start from if you don't notch you you don't notch you're going to get confused you know you won't fix it correctly okay so also remember that on our interface on our collar you'll be ironing interface on the main fabric you don't need to iron on the lining just like the other parts of the lining of the bodies you don't need to iron um interface on the lining you just need on the main fabric but remember we are using the big fabric as a lining also so now what i'm doing i'm reducing i'm cutting off my seam allowance no you can if you notice them i've added all my seam allowance like my folding allowance for my hem all the joining allowance around the neck i added it on the on the show on the pattern and here this is my main fabric now so now i'm reducing the lining by one inch i i, I did 1.5 but i'm cutting out one inch okay so after turning from the bottom up then you can you can always cut out the essays don't forget to subscribe please click on the notification bell if you haven't done that okay all right thank you so now after after 
cutting your lining you discover that your lining is shorter than your main fabric it's very very important after doing that you go ahead and join remember your seam allowances on every part any part that needs joining is a seam allowance and remember your side allowance very important same thing with the back and the front the side back and the side front. you put use the same amount of if you're doing 1.5 you do 1.5 for both sides okay so after joining you sew from down up you join all your part your piece your your panels together and then you iron the seam line open remember i cut out one inch allowance from my hem for the line you sew you can see after cutting it when you join them you can now turn up and then you you sew the neckline okay so you you, you start from the bottom you you sew you turn and then you all the way to the neckline then you sew to the neckline so for the front so i i went ahead to to join this before and then i'll be using this i will just be using the second part to show you okay so this is what you do now you 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 put you pin your lapel to your neckline first after pinning then you put your belt on it the belt shouldn't go under so it should be on top of like where your your lapel start uh, ends that's where your belt should start from but so that is where it's going to end and then you now put your lining you now use your lining you place your lining on it you sew and then you flip over and that's all okay that's all but remember to sew the, the bottom as well so you sew the bottom first then you place your lining and your belt and then you sew so this is it okay you can see the jacket so now for the 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 the, the collar it's up to you to to cut as big or small as you want okay so i i just i decide to use this measurement there's no actual measurement actually so if you feel it's too big you can also make your smaller okay so this is what i'm doing and you can see the belt it's already well laid already so what i'll be doing right now is just to join the shoulders together okay so i'll join fabric to fabric so i already have i also have tutorials on other and um, jackets like like um short collar lapel collar you can do well to check that out in our description box you see the list of my a link to my youtube tutorials you can do well to check it so what you do you join fabric to fabric after your after the shoulder and then you join the bottom from the bottom sew out your seam allowance whatever if you added one inch so are the one inch if you added two inch so whatever you added that is what you are sewing out okay or you do well to measure all right so you sew the fabric to fabric and then you sew the lining to line after joining your shoulder and my dear seal mates that is all okay so this is the color you can see now so the the fabric color is not bringing out the the color it's not making the color that visible but it's a choice of my of my clients this, this is the fabric she has and that is it so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and leave a comment thank you